This year, we got to go out on a real good youth hunt. We got a hold of a hunt club out on uh, the bay and they let us bring some youth out there for a youth hunt. We like to try and take a lot of kids out every year. In Washington, we have a youth hunt that starts in September for a weekend. A couple weeks ahead of the normal schedule for duck hunting. So it gives the kids a chance to get out there and get a shot at some local birds before everybody gets them stirred up. Got to get a boy out in his wheelchair, get him all brushed up and had his dad there with him. Took uh, another young man named Ricky in my blind. The blind that Stu and I were in had two girls in it. When I first step into a blind with anybody, whether you're an experienced hunter, you're a first time hunter, or you're a young kid, one of the things we do, we always do, Ryan will do it, I do it. If we're in control of that blind for the day, we're gonna be calling the shot. We like everybody to know the proper spots where to shoot. So we always take them and get them in the blind with an empty gun. We have them practice getting up out of it a couple times. That way they can get the motions of getting that gun up and, and proper safety. And we instruct anytime that gun's coming to your shoulder, that's when the safety comes off. When it's coming off of your shoulder and you're getting ready to set it down, safety goes back on. And you always, always, always check your safety. It's very important. We don't ever we don't ever want an accident. Anytime we have a, a new hunters, we go through the rings with them just because we've been doing it together for so long that we're pretty comfortable with the way each other operates in the blind. But anytime you get somebody new, you want to make sure they're comfortable with you, you're comfortable with them, and guns are dangerous. They're dangerous. If they're in the hands of somebody misusing it or, or improper technique, being unsafe, that's when accidents happen. And we've never had an accident, and we hope to keep it that way. I'm excited for you too. I think we're gonna have some fun. So grab your gear, grab your stuff, and uh, get comfortable. <laughs> what we're gonna have to deal with is birds either wanting to come here or birds wanting to go there. We don't, obviously, we don't want them that far. Right? We want them like right here. Stuart and Austin were blind probably about 50 yards away. We're on the same pond. Fortunately, there was a lot of ducks around. Unfortunately for them, they wanted to come more towards the front of our blind. The birds were definitely favoring the blind that Ryan was in. I believe it was because of the wind. The wind was pretty strong. Well, it's coming from this direction. And generally heading, heading in that direction. Heading this way. Unfortunately for the girls, a lot of the birds wanted to go towards Ryan's blind. Uh, they just decoyed to that end of the pond a lot better that day. Uh, we did try to pass up quite a few birds so that the, the other children would get a chance. Yeah. We were also on a narrow portion of the pond and uh, the majority of the birds that were flying were teal and so you got you know 10 year old girls in a blind and then teal fly at very fast speeds it's hard to get them prepped to be able to shoot and hit those birds. but we did get a chance for these girls to get up and shoot at some ducks. They were able to pull out a few. It was good for Diesel because it got to knock off the dust from uh, being on the couch. I guess he really wasn't on the couch. He trained all summer. <laughs> but he at least got to hunt and not have to do such regimented training. Overall, it was, it was a really good hunt. You know, when they said 80 degrees today, I was expecting <laughs> it to be hot all day. <laughs> Hold me. <laughs> Oh, that beard is so glorious. <laughs> My keeps... wife says. Let's take a look at how our shooters did. Kenzie, on Austin's team, shot a total of 12 times, harvesting one bird for an 8% accuracy. Haley, on Stewart's team, shot 11 times, harvested one bird for a 9% accuracy. 
Ricky, on the other hand, blew them all away. Shot 15 times, harvested seven birds for an almost 50% accuracy. Ricky is our best shot.